So in this video, we're going to discuss the leaving group um, and what makes a good leaving group um, when we're discussing the SN2 and SN1 uh, mechanisms. So let's go through a couple of things about leaving group ability. Uh, the, the main thing about the leaving group is that when it's kicked out, either uh, it leaves first or it's forced out by the nucleophile, when that bond breaks, it, it, that leaving group needs to be stable uh, when that bond breaks heterolytically because the leaving group is going to take a pair of electrons with it so sometimes it'll be neutral or sometimes it's going to be most of the times it's going to have a negative charge and so you want to have that negative charge be stabilized and the way that we can determine uh, what a good leaving group is going to be is we can use the pKa so if we know the pKa of the conjugate acid of the leaving group then that gives us a measure of its ability to serve as a leaving group um, and if you remember from part organic one, if, if you if you have a low pKa, that means that the the conjugate base is very stable. And so, if the conjugate base is stable, that means that that particular conjugate base would make a good leaving group. And there are some there are five factors that uh, help with stabilization of a conjugate base. We've talked about those before: uh, hybridization, induction, resonance electronegativity and size so here's the question that we have to ask uh, relative to uh, or with respect to the leaving group ability is when the leaving group leaves can it support itself and if the answer is yes then that means it's going to be a good leaving group if the answer is no that means it's going to be a poor leaving group and what I mean by support itself is can that leaving group through one of those factors, hybridization, size, induction, resonance, or electronegativity, can it stabilize itself? If it can, then it's going to be a good leaving group. So here are some examples of really excellent leaving groups. Uh, the triflate leaving group uh, is, the conjugate acid of that leaving group is triflic acid, which is shown here. pKa of triflic acid is negative 12, and it leaves as a leaving group as uh, the triflate anion which is shown here and it this anion is stabilized by resonance as well as induction uh, iodide we talked about that in class already uh, the conjugate acid is HI or hydroiodic acid pK negative 10 that means when iodine leaves uh, it's leaving as I minus stabilized by electronegativity and then size um, the same thing here for the tosylate leaving group excellent leaving group notice it has a negative pKa, so that means it's a very good uh, acid, meaning it's going to have a very stable conjugate base. So the leaving group, with the tosylate leaving group, leaves as um, this tosylate anion, and it's stabilized by resonance. So here, these are some fair to decent leaving groups. Notice as the pKa increases, the leaving group ability decreases. So uh, the acetate anion, which is uh, the conjugate base of acetic acid uh, has a, the, the acetic acid has a pK of 4.8. The acetate anion leaves here as a negative, uh, negatively charged anion, and is stabilized by resonance. Uh, ammonia NH3 as a leaving group would be would actually be positive before it left. It would have a formal charge of plus one, and if that's the case, it's going to leave as simply NH3 right without a charge so this is stabilized by neutralization of that plus charge and then phenol is a poor is a decent leaving group it would this is the conjugate acid of phenol and then this is the conjugate base so this is what it would leave as the phenol uh, anion all right and it's stabilized again by resonance so you'll notice here um, that the pKa is uh, here 4.8 here's 9.4 and then here is 10 and so as the pKa's increase the leaving group ability decreases and then these are really poor leaving groups same concept applies uh, the methoxide anion which is here this is a, a leaving group is pretty uh, poor when you compare it to um, the acetate anion or you compare it to like a tosylate or a triflate and the hydroxyl group is a poor leaving group. Most of the times with the hydroxyl group, it needs to be converted into uh, something uh, else, right? You have to add something to the hydroxyl group to make it a better leaving group. Sometimes it's protonated, 
Other times, it's, there's other functional groups added to facilitate uh, making or getting that uh, hydroxyl group to leave, but it does not readily leave on its own. So let's compare two reactions. Uh, they're both primary um, substrates. This has uh, a triflate leaving group. This has an ammonia leaving group. Notice again, the ammonia has a formal charge of plus one. Treating them both with um, sodium methyl sulfide as the nucleophile. And you can see here, this is a typo. This should be CH3. Uh, you can see here that uh, they both substitute. And this is my leaving group here. The uh, triflate anion over here is ammonia. And this leaving group will be stabilized by resonance. Whereas there is no added stabilization here other than uh, you've neutralized the plus charge. And you can see the conjugate acid uh, pKa here is negative 12. Conjugate acid pKa here is 9.4. So we could, if if you were asked what which reaction proceeded with the faster rate, it would be this reaction because you are comparing the two leaving groups. Everything else is the same except for the leaving groups. So when you compare the leaving groups, you you see that the triflate is a much better leaving group and what that means is that this reaction is going to take place at a much faster rate. As always if you have any questions you can tweet, you can email, or you can drop by my office. Peace.